garlic is a special crop because you plant it in the fall, but you won't actually harvest it until the following spring or early summer. I really like it because you can kind of set it and forget it if you do things right in the beginning. So for us, that means in the fall, in October, we start out by loosening up the soil, fertilizing it, which I skimmed on a little bit last fall and it showed later on, which you'll see in this video. <laughs> One thing to note is that when you are fertilizing for your garlic, it really loves nitrogen. So you want to be sure that your soil has plenty of nitrogen. If not, your garlic will probably turn out looking like mine did this year. It was a little bit anemic, a little spindly, and uh, soil amendment is definitely on my to-do list for this fall. Garlic is also really simple to plant. You start out by separating each clove from the bulb. You want to take off the papery outer layer of skin on the whole bulb itself, but not on the individual cloves. This actually helps to keep it from growing too big too early, um, and it allows the roots to have a chance to properly form. clove about knuckle deep with the pointy end facing up and the blunt root end facing down. You'll want them about six to eight inches apart and six to eight inches in between the rows also so that the bulbs beneath the ground have room to actually spread out and develop. Since we plant garlic in the fall it just makes sense to use the dead leaves that we have laying around as mulch. This helps the soil to retain moisture and also prevents weeds from growing. And you know I have helpers, so enjoy the dance break. <laughs> Come here! Now when spring rolls around, if you planted hard neck garlic, oh are you going to tell them to? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> if you want to tell them about hard neck garlic, it'll throw up some skates. And you will see a little center tube that grows up, 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 and this is where the flowering head will be if you let it go, but you want to actually clip this before the flower can develop so that the plant puts all of its energy into developing the root. And I planted hard neck garlic this year just for the scapes because you can actually use it to make pesto or compound butter or saute to add to all kinds of different dishes. It's delicious.
you'll know it's time to harvest your garlic when the bottom leaves of the plant start to turn brown and die. And I like to pull the soil back and see what the bulbs are looking like. Typically you should use a small spade or shovel to, you know, lift the plant gently out of the ground, but why well, go by the rules? I love harvesting root veggies. Pulling garlic and potatoes and carrots and beets out of the ground, there's something so satisfying about that to me. After you've harvested your garlic, it's time to cure it. So you can do this by hanging them, but I chose to do it in a single layer on a screen. My dad has a business where he salvages old barns and buildings and log homes and I just snagged a screen door out of his barn. So I laid them all in a single layer on this door and left them to dry for about a month. And I had them on my front porch so it was covered, it was shady, it wasn't in direct sunlight. And this just allows the skin on the bulbs to dry out which will help them to last longer when you put them up in storage. Alright, the garlic's been curing on the front porch for about a month and it is time to put them up in storage. All I do is cut off the stems, cut off the roots, knock the <laughs> biggest amount of dirt off of them. You do want to leave the papery skin in place just because that helps them to last longer in storage. And then I put them in a wicker basket and they go underneath the island in my kitchen which is where I keep my onions and potatoes and garlic obviously. And I also usually leave a little bit out on the counter in a cute bowl or tiny basket because I just love to look at them. There's just something so satisfying and simple about looking at something that you grew in your garden. Mm -hmm. 